He's looking going, what? Hey guys, uh, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. All right, Boston? You all right? Or you want to get down? The smells in this kitchen are incredible. Today, I'm showing you how to make a cauliflower steak. That's right, a steak of cauliflower. I can't tell you how amazing it tastes. It is just, in fact, there's a plate right there. I can have a little bit right now. It is so incredible. We've charred the tops and the bottoms and then roasted it uh, in the oven. Super, super soft and you will absolutely love this. If you want to have a go, uh, hit pause on the video now. Write all these ingredients down. Here's an important message. Uh, so just a little bit of news. Uh, basically guys, a lot of you have been asking, where's the studio? Uh, so unfortunately the studio hasn't really worked out for a variety of reasons. Mainly just because it's not very efficient. It took me like three times the amount of time to do a video with Phoebe and uh, Boston just doesn't settle there. So I'm ripping out this kitchen and bringing the studio back to my house. Um, but I've got so many videos in a bag, you probably won't notice it. And hopefully in a few weeks time, ba boom uh, this studio will should, well, should appear here, hopefully all being well. But there's no problems with it. It's just really for being a bit more efficient and uh, yeah, make this guy happy. It's a pug bum. Dude, I'm gonna put you down. Nobody wants to see your bum. Well, some of you probably do. But anyhow, to make this cauliflower steak, the first thing you're gonna do is grab yourself a mixing bowl and pour in your olive oil. And also what we're gonna do is grab some lime juice and a lemon. You can mix it up as much as you like. Uh, try not to get any lemon pip in there. I, I did that, never mind. And also a chopped garlic clove. Push that in, whisk it together, and leave that to one side. It's gonna help baste. I love that word, baste. It's all about the best, about the best. Uh, based our cauliflower. Speaking of the cauliflower, grab your cauliflower head. That sounds quite like medieval. Grab your head. Uh, uh, and then just like shove it down on the board. And what you want to do is just rip off uh, the green leaves on the outer bits of the cauliflower and try and get as many of those off as you can. But the core of the cauliflower is what's going to hold it all together. Kind of like when you're chopping an onion. So what you want to do is get as neat as you can around there, as I say, and also level it off so your cauliflower stands upright. So with the cauliflower stood there upright, take a cut from the middle of the cauliflower straight through the bottom, about inch strips there to create your steaks. Each cauliflower probably make about four or five steaks, obviously of various sizes, so like ratio that up as many as you like, but I've just gone for two today. What I did then was get my oily base and brushed it on both sides of my steak and then started to rub one side in the paprika. I also added some salt on there, some smoky salt looking good, and some zest. It's completely optional, up to you. And we're cooking this two ways. You could just literally whack it in the griddle pan and it'll be quite firm and crispy in the middle, but we're gonna completely caramelize ours. So get a nice hot griddle pan and place your steak down in there one at a time. Around about six minutes uh, either side. And while it's in there, you can sort of do your seasoning on the other side as well. Exactly the same steps. Flip it over very, very carefully, and again, cook it for another five, six minutes. So I put that into a roasting tray, and this is how we cook it through to the middle. So if your strips are quite thick, you might wanna do this to make sure it's nice and soft. So both of my steaks were in there, put some foil on there, and whacked it in the oven for a good 25 minutes to completely soften it up. You can cook it a little bit longer just to make sure it's softened through and it'll caramelize it some more. When you take it out, that flavor will be absolutely incredible. So whack it down on a plate, a little bit of coriander on there, maybe some lime wedges and some juice from them. Whatever you want to do to really bring some zing and flavor out. It's so full of flavor though. It is amazing. Yeah, it's proper awesome. So zingy and so smoky too. You will absolutely love this. Check out my last video if you haven't already and vote for my next recipe at myvirginkitchen.com. See you next time. Mm. Don't know what that was. Cheers.